Yes, my name is Satish Manoli. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for uh, ICAT Air Ambulance Service. ICAT stands for International Critical Care Aeromedical uh, Transfer Team. And uh, we work, uh, we transfer critical uh, patients from, uh, you know, one uh, city to another city where, where the critical patient are there in that city and they want a tertiary care. We transfer that patient. We go there in an air ambulance. Our uh, aeromedical team consisting of uh, intensivists and paramedic along with all the ICU equipment. We go there. We stabilize the patient in that uh, hospital. We take over the patient on the bedside. We do something called a stay and play. You know, we don't just scoop and run because most of the damages happened in the secondary transport if you don't stabilize the patient properly. So uh, our team goes of expert intensivists and paramedics go there stabilize the you know uh, patient and then uh, in an um, they transfer the patient from that hospital in an air ambulance to a tertiary care where higher care is there for the patient okay and in the air ambulance we have a stretcher we have ventilator complete icu setup and plus you know aeromedical specialist team of intensivists and paramedics who take care of the patient end to end we also transfer patients uh, within india also from abroad like for example we transfer patients from us uk canada japan all over the world okay and also not not only to india like we have transferred patients from dubai to uh, london transferred patients from say kenya to dubai so across the world inter uh, continent inter uh, inter uh, country we do these transfers and we all we have two aircrafts here in india which we are leased out and then we have access to all the jets, whether it is uh, Challenger 605 or a Lear 60 or a uh, uh, XL, XLS, all these super jumbo jets. Uh, we also sometimes mobilize uh, A320s and A380s where we do a commercial stretcher transfer, wherein uh, uh, inside the aircraft we remove the nine seats, put a stretcher and convert that into a mini ICU. Okay, and we put the complete ICU equipments there. Our team of uh, intensivists and paramedics, they go there. So especially uh, people transferring from US, UK, these are long distance transfer. And if you take a dedicated air ambulance, sometimes it is super expensive. So in that case, uh, if the patient is not too critical and any, not... Uh, made, uh, accidents or uh, any, any... Any kind of uh, injuries, you know, uh, accident injuries, uh, you know, uh, uh, head injuries or uh, heart problem, drowning problem you know, uh, whether it is uh, any other, uh, you know, critical injuries, organ failures, heart attacks, heart attacks, stroke patients, you know, uh, or uh, coma patients, you know, uh, many, many type of different type of patients, even, even neonatals, even babies of, you know, we have transferred babies of 400 grams each, you know, from Goa to Hyderabad, two babies at the same time, in an incubator in an air ambulance. So any patient who is sick, who needs a tertiary care, who needs to go to a long distance, this thing, we are there to help them. We go there, we uh, take the, our entire team in an aircraft and go there and pick up the patient, stabilize the patient there and bring to tertiary care. Almost all the major hospitals, they work with us, we work with them exclusively because they want the patient to be brought to them in a very good condition. So we go there and they believe in our team. And our team is completely, if you see, certified by Fellowship in Aviation Medicine. We have an in-house course. It's a unique course in the world which is a one-year course where we handpick the intensivists, you know, uh, 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 and the emergency specialists, and we interview them, and then we train them. Okay, and it's a one-year training course, which will have four modules, three modules in India, and the last module, they go to UK. They actually fly in the actual HEMS, you know, and even UK faculty comes here in India, and, uh, you know, they train the people here, and then they are certified in UK. And those are the only people who fly. So all of them, the first batch whom we have trained are joined with us and those are the same doctors who are trained in fellowship in aviation medicine as well as certified, they fly with us. In India, in addition to this, we also do almost 97% of organ transfers. We transfer organs in helicopters, we transfer organs in air ambulances, we transfer organs in A320s, jets. So because organ has a very short time, within say 4 hours or 6 hours, from one person donor to the recipient, we need to bring the heart. For example, heart is only four hours. So from there, we, we manage everything from hospital doorstep to uh, operation theater here. Right from the time heart is taken out to coming to this operation theater, we manage every time. It is a very precise timing. Okay, within four hours and 
we have brought in record times the organs from Chandigarh, Surat, Mumbai, Madurai to you know southern locations because most of the organ uh, uh, centers are in south. Very good, sir. Very good. Good information. Actually, it's a very useful to all the people. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you so much.